Hey everyone, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the Wondershare Filmora. This is what I use to edit my videos weekly. Um, so a few people have asked about it. Hopefully you will be able to keep up with it. It is quite simple. So I'll try and help you out as much as I can. So when you start off, go on this section, right click and it will open up your box. So there's my intro, intro. Right click, click import. So I'm going to go for one of my latest videos, which would be that one there. So with this, as you can see, I've got my intro now, my video lined up. So I'm going to left click it and drag it down into the box. Same as my main video, click it, drag it down into the box. So with this video, I don't know how long it is, it's fairly long. But say you've got a 20 minute video and you want to make it down to a 10 minute video. Just make sure it's highlighted with the out box here. You can see it turns white. Once that is done, right click it. And you'll find a speed and duration. Click on that. So you can see it's set to 1.00 now. So you can highlight this and type in 2.00. So that'll do that and make the video half the length as you just saw as I clicked OK. So there we go. We've got that there now. So music. So if you've got sound on the video and you don't wish it, so if you're talking, if you've got anything in the background with disturbance, as I said, click it left and you see the white box once again. Right click it and you see up here, detach audio. Now you see underneath that I do have the audio file. Once that is done, highlight it, white box around it. Right click it on it and delete. Now that is the entire sound gone from that video. So with me, I like to add my own little song. This is a non-copyright um, sound file from YouTube. Get it? Bring it in. So what I do is left click that file, bring it down and line it up to the end of my intro. So that's where the music from the intro ends to the music for the sound file starts. But as you can see, it's quite long, which is no good for the video because it'll carry on but minutes afterwards what I want to do is get to the very end of where I want it to be which will be just there bring that over so what I'll do is get this here and drag it as you can see it drags the very end and then you can see it's lined up over here you see a pair of scissors click on that with your left button and it detaches the song as you can see there's two files now so the right hand one is the one that has been sliced. You do not want that. So right click it once it's highlighted. Click delete. So now that's shortened that video um, sound file majorly. Problem is, if I press play, you hear it stops all of a sudden. Which isn't very good. No, don't make it very good at all. So once again, left click on it highlight it this time it's a blue box but it's exactly the same as white once that is highlighted right click on your mouse and go to adjust audio here you see fade in fade out i'm going to do a fade out so i like to use about five seconds so bring it roughly to five and it does adjust it to the nearest number click ok as we hear now five seconds before it will start to fade out which makes it a hell of a lot better. So basically, say that's my entire video made. What I do then is I'll put my intro at the very end. That's the video basically made up. So if you see my videos, you see I like to use transitions. These are all different transitions you can use from it. So for instance, I'll grab this one here. If it isn't downloaded, double left click it and it will download it for you. So just left click it, drag it. What you want to do is where the box is here, you see a little white box, put that bang smack in the middle. Same with this one here at the very end, bang smack in the middle. So it overlaps both video clips on both sides. So I'll put it here so you can quickly see it fade in. And that's at the beginning of it. And at the very end here, you see it fade out. So that's that and that done so other little things you've got you've got effects on it so you can make it look 
all different Willow series, 70s. That's your own personal opinion. I don't like to get involved in that side. It's too confusing. If you don't know how to do it right, it does make the video look poor. What I like to use though is elements. So, say for instance here, I'm showing you the power of this pet. And all I want, yeah, for instance. Left click it, drag it down to which section you want. So I'll bring that in a little bit so the video starts so you'll see. But now that is a little bit too big. So left click on where it says yeah on the main section here. And you'll see the box come up. Left click it and you can make the size difference. Left click it, hold it and drag it to it wherever you want. Now when I play it, it'll be in the spot and the size I want. Same as you want to go on here, for instance, wow. We'll put that one up there. You can see he is really big. Left click on the screen. Drag to the size you want to resize it. And drag it to wherever you want. You can put it anywhere. I have it there. So that one's done. Quite simple, quite, quite explanatory. So now, for instance, if I want to highlight the strength of this, the coins, and everything that this pet does, there's a little one I like to use. This this here, the finger's energy. I get that one, and I'll pop it there. This one's a little bit tricky because it is a very quick one, so you've got to quickly drag this marker across until you see it highlight, which is there. So you can see it's highlighted here now. Exactly the same. Left click it and drag it to the size you want drag it down so I like mine to be there so it highlights the strength and the power of my pets so I'll quickly show you so then that just highlights it as you can see that's basically that done so you've got from the intro with the transition into the video with the sound which I've just told you what to do how to do it You've got all the elements added in, so you've got your yeah, you've got your little spot thing that highlights the strength, and your wow. And then at the very end here, you've got your transition into the outro. So I'll let this play so you can see it all in action, working it all together. Well, I will say also, as you can see there, the pets did change. If you want another one of these up here to highlight the strength, easy. Just put another one in the spot you want. Do exactly the same. Drag and drop it into where you want it. So back again. One of my last time to show you it. Transition. There's the yeah. With the music I put in. Now the little sparkle. The wow will pop up. Once this is done, you get the little sparkle up again. Video's done with the transition into the outro. And that's quite simple. That's how you edit, do the transitions, music, elements on Wondershare Filmora. Once you've done that, go to your export. Here you can choose your resolution, what sort of like quality you want. So I like to do best. I always put my resolution up to the highest frames size you can normally it does do 60 fps i don't know why it's not doing it on this one click ok simple click export that's your video rendering it does take a while as you can see it's only a short one this so it's only a minute to do but normally if you do like a 10 minute video it takes about sort of 15 minutes obviously i don't want to render that one and that's basically it guys hopefully you found this helpful if you have Please do make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's also a little bell. That's a notification bell. That will let you know as and when I am live. As you may know, I do do Saber Sim videos weekly. I do do Saber Sim pet giveaways as well in my Discord server. The link is down below in the description. So please do have a look. Join the Discord server. It would be really great. I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers at the minute. So every one of you that clicks on that subscribe button will really help me out. So hopefully you have found this helpful.
and hopefully it will help you out in your videos. So I've been Devon Fella Slinger, I'll catch you all again very soon.